Mongolia has a possibility to structurally transform the economy by developing domestic manufacturing and infrastructure alongside with preparing educated human resource. These are the words highlighted by Mr. Paul Akiwumi, Director of Division for Africa, Least Developed Countries and Special Programs at the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. He gave a speech at the sub-regional workshop with the theme Fostering Structural Transformation and Export Diversification in Selected Asian Landlocked Developing Countries. I think this uh, workshop will be instrumental, firstly because it will give new initiatives and ideas on how Mongolia can transform its economy and diversify its economy within the various sectors. And secondly, it's a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity for Mongolia to learn from the other countries in the region who are also landlocked and face similar problems. Well, in, in LDCs have to move away from commodities. They have to move into more productive areas. And this is what so structural transformation is about. It's about moving into more productive areas where you can create jobs and employment and then you can help the economy grow. Co-organized by the International Think Tank for Landlocked Developing Countries and the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, the workshop was attended by delegates of International Think Tank for Landlocked Developing Countries in Asia, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Laos and Bhutan. Experts and researchers of international organizations such as the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific and the Mineral Fund to discuss ways to no longer depend on mining commodities and diversify the economy and share experiences. Some landlocked countries that are economically dependent on few types of mining products have yet to find a way out of the situation. But instead, some of those countries have found interesting solutions to how the economy can be further developed using the sector, what kind of funds should be established, and how the income should be correctly spent and allocated, which are being discussed at the workshop. The two-day workshop will issue policy recommendations on solving challenges that their regional countries face.